Hey guys, it's Troy, and believe it or not, today I want to talk to you about ballpoint pens. Ooh, ballpoint. <laughs> it's true. And there's a reason for that. You know, just recently I have had the need for replacing some ballpoint refills. One of the reasons is this right here. This is a desk set, a Schaefer desk set that sits here on my desk. So let's widen out just a little bit on this shot. And maybe I can show you, see, go too far. All right. So, this particular desk set is one I picked up fairly cheap off from eBay. Um, and it is a Schaefer, and it, this is a cartridge fountain pen right here. You can see you got a good swivel on these uh, holders right here. Uh, but it's just like a wooden base, it's kind of heavy. Um, and it had somebody's uh, name on a plaque here. So that's the only reason I've got my name here instead. Uh, but, um, you know, I've got a lot of desk pens and uh, from Esterbrook, from Schaefer, uh, from uh, Waterman, that kind of thing. So I've got some unknown, unbranded desk pens as well that are old lever fillers. So um, this is one I just got within the past uh, couple of months and I've been keeping this one here on my desk. So I've got the fountain pen here and it writes fairly well. It's always handy at my desk and I've already run through some cartridges on this thing, believe it or not. And then I've got this one, which was a ballpoint. So, um, here it be. I got it, and this thing would write. It would actually uh, write, but just not very well. So, I decided I was going to go ahead and let's keep one ballpoint on my desk at all times that I can uh, gather or, or just pick up and go use. So, you, you pull off the tail end, and you've got one of these right here. And believe it or not, I believe it said Parker. So, it was an old Parker refill. And uh, Parker kind of became the standard refill for a lot of ballpoints uh, for various brands. I'll show you some more here in just a little bit. Uh, but this one uh, in particular, uh, it I just said, okay, let's go ahead and order it. So I went ahead and ordered a pack, and uh, it sent me about 10 of them in a little envelope, or little uh, thing like this. And uh, so I went ahead and I replaced it, and this one writes much, much better uh, than the other one did. Uh, so it was fairly inexpensive. I think I paid like six or seven bucks for these. No big deal, you know, shipped to my door. So now I've got a ballpoint on my desk. I've got a fountain pen on my desk at all times. And I paid like seven dollars at a uh, uh, an awards um, company uh, that makes these. I found a company online that did it fairly cheaply. I filled in on their little website what I just put my name on it. Um, and they shipped it to me for like seven bucks, eight dollars all total. I got myself a little plaque to throw on my desk set. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Uh, now, uh, along the same vein, i um, been doing a lot of cleaning here in the house. And been going through a lot of old totes, a lot of old desk drawers, and did some cleaning. Um, and I shared with you some time ago how companies often like to give pens to their employees. I actually have one here on my desk uh, that I got uh, from my employer. And here's another one I got from my employer as well. Uh, this is from a company that, uh, well, several generations or uh, incarnations of the company uh, from years gone by. And they went ahead and they personalized these pens. So I've got my my name on the side of this pen. But it's a ballpoint, so I pulled it out and it wouldn't write. And uh, you know, this was just last week, I think, uh, that I went ahead and pulled this out. I um, found it, like I said, in a, in a box that I hadn't touched in a long, long time, probably better part of 20 years. Um, so I went ahead and pulled it apart and opened it up and went, okay, you know what? It's got the same kind of refill as that Schaefer had. So it takes a Parker, standard style Parker refill. Um, these refills here are, are unbranded. It doesn't really matter what the brand name is as long as they will do the job. That's why I don't mind ordering them really cheap off from eBay, shipped to me from within the United States. I had it several days, it was at my door. Uh, one of the neat things about these uh, little refills um, was that um, there's a tiny little cap that goes over the ballpoint. So at first I wanted to go right with them. I was like, oh, wait a minute, it's not writing. And then come to find out there's a little tiny plastic, um, little plastic nib or a little plastic um, cap that you can probably see right there. 
that actually uh, protects that ball so it doesn't uh, it doesn't dry out it doesn't get crudded up or anything like that when you go to use it uh, so it protects that for you so I got another um, ballpoint that actually now writes now another ballpoint pen uh, that I had laying around here that um, is actually worked well since I've had it uh, this one came out in 1998 um, it's Bugs Bunny you know Warner Brothers the company I work for used to be part of Warner Media and uh, was a uh, huge conglomerate right so I ended up with this particular pen and you open it up and you'll find that it's a little different because this is um, a little twist uh, the actual refill for it is a little different you can tell that it's different here at the top compared to uh, these ones here it's just uh, a different kind of twist different style and you pull it out and you've got that little spring there but uh, this also is another Parker brand refill so even though the, the, this pen probably is not made by Parker you know Parker seems to be um, kind of the uh, standard so um, you know I'm gonna be looking for eventually a refill for this it's got a very light blue ink that it writes with but it's actually I've been using this pen for a long long time and it's actually served me fairly well I actually keep this one on my desk in like one of these always have a ballpoint here on my desk and that combined with my desk set um, at least I'm covered uh, with anything for ballpoints as well. A um, couple of other things I, I shared with you um, earlier in another video. I shared with you some cross pens. You know, these are cross ballpoints, uh, one from the same company as uh, the other that I was given, and one that I had had since like 1988 or so. And uh, cross takes a proprietary cartridge that goes in those for a replacement and again I just ordered a bunch of them together um, in a package shipped to me dirt cheap and so I've got more cross refills and I know what to do with definitely more than I've got cross pens but I'm definitely covered as a result uh, for myself and for anybody else I know who might have need of a cross refill another cool thing that I shared with you one time uh, this is an old Waterman CF part of a, uh, a ballpoint and fountain pen uh, combination um, or set. And uh, this particular one actually had a reef, uh, an old uh, original Waterman cartridge in it. And you can't find these anymore. If you look, it's, um, it's flared out at the end. And you can't buy these anymore. I mean, I kept looking and I thought I found one store in the UK that might have it, but... Um, you know, I just said, forget this. So I found a hack for it. And I shared this in a video. You can go find it if you want. Uh, but you can see here, I've got that ballpoint. It doesn't extend very far on this. But you can pull it apart. And on this old 1950s, 1960s Waterman CF, this thing pulls down and it locks that in place. And what I did was I took one of those very same cross refills and I just took a pair of cutters, a pair of metal cutters, wire cutters, whatever you want to use, and I just snipped it right there, right below that plastic top, and crimped it down just a little bit so that it would act just like the flare did on this. So let me pick this up, a little hard to do. So it's about the same length here. Um, and I wasn't going to get the flare out, so I wasn't going to you know, try to tool it or anything. The big deal is the reason that flare is so it sits inside and does not go any further down inside. So I went just ahead and crimped it so it is, you know, got some width to it. So, just like this one sat in the pen like this, and still didn't extend out very well, uh, or very far in it. Uh, you got that capped in there? Well... I just use a really cheap cross refill, crimp that down so you've got that little flare in effect, and put the baby back together. So there we go. 
So anyway, wanted to share with you, uh, you know, some ball points. And uh, you know, I I don't know if you, I mean, they're ball points. I mean, my handy dandy Star Wars notebook, which I don't really need anything fancy to write with, uh, to do some ballpoint writing, but. Nothing fancy, you know. Uh, very cheap. Very cheap. But reliable. And it works well. So I cannot complain. So there you go, guys. Um, ideas. If you need if, if you need just refills for uh, standard kind of ballpoint pens, Parker-style refills are going to probably be uh, your most popular cross refills as well, and they can do double duty in some other pens. So if you get a ballpoint and you're running out of um, ink, at least you know where to look. Like I said, I picked these up for six or seven dollars or so, maybe shipped to my door uh, for a package full of them. So there you go, ballpoint pen refills. Really exciting. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.